Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain of your website. So a subdomain is another WordPress installation separate from your main domain. So for example, right now I have a client who wants me to redesign this website. This is his old website and here he has all his different pages with his different photo galleries. It's a photography website and I'm going to be redesigning it, but I don't want to delete his existing website. Um, for two reasons. One, uh, if another customer comes to his website, it'll still be up and they can still look through it while, while I'm creating the new one. And also, I can I have the option while I'm working on the new WordPress website to um, have access to this old site and come here and get content and kind of, uh, I can come back and get the pictures, I can come back and get the text, so I have access to that old content. Where if, if I delete it and then I wanna go back and check how his website was before, um, to copy like an email address or a phone number or a description, I have to ask him for it because it's not there anymore. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your hosting and you're gonna open up your cPanel for your website. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look up WordPress in your cPanel. Uh, it's not showing up here, let me see, should be one somewhere here. Now we're scrolling, we're looking, we're looking for WordPress. Here it is, WordPress, we're gonna click on WordPress. And then we're gonna click install now. It might look a little bit different depending on, on your, your setup, but you're gonna click wherever it lets you install WordPress. Um, for the version, you wanna choose the most recent available one. And here, this is the important part, where it says choose URL, installation URL. Instead of making it the main domain, here where it says directory, you're gonna add something else. So for example, I'm gonna type in new. So in this, what this is gonna do is instead of installing WordPress on his, uh, you know, overriding his existing website, it's gonna install it in a, in a separate directory. So I'll have this new WordPress directory and I'll have his website. And uh, it'll be two separate things. Then once, once that is done, you know, once I'm done redesigning the website, I can back up that website with a plugin like um, all-in-one WordPress migrate uh, I can back up the website, then I would come in and reinstall WordPress here, a fresh copy of WordPress on the main domain and restore the website. So this is the new directory. Um, I'll leave this like this, I can change that later. Uh, the password, I'm gonna plug in a new password for the login. Uh, the email, I can leave it the same, language. Uh, I can leave these things checked, I'm gonna uncheck this because I don't wanna add more plugins than I need. And I think that's it. And I'm gonna click install. And that's gonna take a couple of minutes to install WordPress on the subdomain. So we're gonna wait for that to finish installing. Okay, so it finished installing. Um, now let's open up the new install. I'm just gonna right click and open it in a new tab. So here we have his website.com slash new. And this is a brand new WordPress install. And I can log in here. I can log in and I can actually start designing the brand new WordPress website without affecting the existing website. And then when it's done, I can back up and transfer the website. If you want me to make a video on how to back up and transfer your website, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So that's how you create a subdomain. Uh, if you need any help with any kind of website work, feel free to leave it to me in the comments or you can also contact me on my website, icreateyoursite.com. Thank you guys. Have a great day.